So in this video, we'll talk about anonymous class. Now, what exactly anonymous class is? So before that, let me take an example here. We'll say class A, again, I'm taking the same example of class A. In this class A, let's suppose we have a method called a show and which prints. So let's say it prints in a show. So if you, if you run this code, it will, I mean, if you, if you call the method which is show, so we have to we have to get object of a right for, for that we have to say obj.show and when you run this code we got the address in sh in a show right and this is what we know now let's say i want to call show but it should not print in a show it should print something else let's say it should print i am the best so if i call show it should print i am the best for that either you have to change this source code but let's say i don't want to change a class then what you have to do is you have to get one more class which is b now this class will extend a and even this class will have a method called as public void show and this show will print i am the best okay and now if i create the object of b you can see if i call show it will call it will execute i am the best right so in order to change the existing method we, we need to override that method right and that that's what we have learned in method overriding so i want i don't want a definition of a I want a definition of B, so I want a new definition. That's what we have. That's that's why we have done it. So if you observe this class B, the only purpose of this class is to override a method of A, right? That's the only purpose you have. In this scenario, when you when you when your only purpose is to override a method, you don't have to write this. Then question arises: If you don't write this, how we can achieve? How we can achieve? I am the best. So what you can do is you can say A. Before this semicolon, we can provide a curly brackets open and close. Now, when you say a new, then the class name and curly brackets open close, even this becomes a class now. So this class here will replace the class B. So we can write this method, which is show method inside this A, I mean the object itself. So we don't have to create a B class there. So this is a new class now. So this is a class which doesn't have a name. It is doing the same thing which is done by B, but now it doesn't have a name. And that's why this class is called as anonymous class. So this is a class which doesn't have a name. So if the only purpose of your class was to override this method, we have done that here. So when you provide anonymous class and when you try to create object of it, you can say this is a class and we are trying to create the object of that class. This is called as anonymous class. And now this class scope is only here. You cannot reuse this class. So if your intention is to create a class only for one time use, you can prefer to use anonymous class here. So this anonymous class, it's a class which is which doesn't have a name. So how to create that? We just have to create an object and just before the semicolon provide the implementation. So this is the implementation of a class. And if you run this code, you can see we got the output as I'm the best. So when you call show, it is not calling the show of A, it is calling the show of the anonymous class. So it is that simple. That's how you use anonymous class in Java. That's it. In the next video, we'll see how to use anonymous class with interface.